Great, good to be back. Good to see y'all. Thanks for your first radio, right? Yeah, now yeah. my first one. Getting used to it now. Yeah. We're going to start with Zach, who's come all the way from Jacksonville. Yeah. How, how has the adjustment gone, I guess, with a little bit of the change in schedule and the yeah. practice schedule especially? Um, it's been good. Obviously, you know, the elements in, in Florida and I um, hope everybody's safe back in Florida and like no one can control that. So it adjusts and everything's good. You know, I thought it actually worked out timing wise decent for us. You know, we got here, I don't know, 11 or 12 yesterday landed. So it's been good. Obviously, that first day is an adjustment. You kind of got to get used to the time change. And, you know, that first night is big, just trying to get, get, get on schedule. But I um, feel pretty good today and f we'll feel even better tomorrow. Hey Trevor, um, for fans who are still learning about the sport and, and taking it in their stride, talk to us about the quarterback and wide receiver connection um, and why it's important to be on the same page, in particular in today's defenses where they like to give you different pre and post looks. Yeah, it's really important. You know, the game moves fast, especially think about it, um, the pocket and the defenses you play and the defensive lines, you know, you don't have that much time back there. No matter how good your offensive line is, you're playing against really good players that have good pass rushes and or defenses scheme you up and bring a lot of pressure. So the timing is so important and that's a lot of, of what chemistry is. It's just the timing with your receivers, talking through every different possible scenario and look that they could see. And you know, the more that you can think the same, the more success you're going to have because you can anticipate and you can do things before they happen. On that note, talk to me about LSU product, uh, Brian Thomas Jr. who looks like the real deal. He's been great. You know, I've been impressed with just the way he carries himself. You know, he's just hard worker. Um, a, a quieter guy, but when it when it comes to playing, you know, he turns it on, and um, I've just been impressed with, you know, how quickly he's gotten better too every week throughout the season, and even going back to the off season, you know, he's learned the offense really quickly then, um, and I think that's helped him now in the season be able to play fast, and um, he's done a great job, and you know, I'm looking forward to building that connection over the years, and um, he's had a heck of a start to his career. Trevor, uh, together with a couple of games in 2022, the game, your game against the Colts seemed like one of the best games of uh, your career. How do you see that yourself and how are you going to use that performance uh, moving forward? I think just for all of us, you know, we needed, we needed to get a win. Um, you know, we obviously started the season a little rough and uh, not the way you want to start. But for us last week, it was just take it one week at a time, just try to get one. You know, you can't go back and get the other four that we missed out on, but you can go get one this week. And that's the same message. Um, going into this week in Chicago. It's the same thing as just try to do whatever you can to win, win one more game. Um, and then next week will come and we'll, we'll figure it out then. But just taking it one game at a time, I think that helped myself, helped the team play free and just focus on one play at a time and do your job. And, you know, I thought that was a good, a good week last week to do that. And we're going to have to do it again. You know, this league, it moves quick and every week is a challenge and you got to play well every week. You're into London last year off back to back losses and one back to back games in London with a one and four start so far this season, does that always give you, is that something you're looking to do again in terms of obviously you want to win both games, but in terms of that confidence it might give you for the rest of the season to get back to back wins here and then, then head back to Jacksonville for the rest of the season? Yeah, I, I think you just, it's no secret. You look at where we're at as a team and uh, we need to win and we need to win uh, most of the rest of our games. And, and obviously you can't look ahead, but just looking at where we're at, I mean, just being honest. So we understand where we're at as a team. And I think the best way to do that though, is to focus on one week at a time. So yeah, you know, we'd love to come away from London 2-0 here, but first of all, we got to go put our best foot forward and so we can beat Chicago. You know, that's the plan on, on Sunday. And beyond that, you can't worry about until um, that time gets here. So I think just keeping ourselves in the moment, not trying to chase all these wins, just go one week at a time is, is how you get there. Trevor, coach said Evan looks pretty good for Sunday. What uh, what kind of a boost would that give you in the offense? It'd be great. Um, yeah, it'll be really good to get him back out there. Obviously, we have um, we have some great chemistry and played with him the last you know going on three years now. So just to get him back out there will be awesome. Um, you know, I think just the element he brings, really, run game, pass game, getting the ball in his hands, letting him work in space. I mean, he's just a, a great dynamic player um, that changes the game. So I think having him back is only going to help us. I think the other guys did a great job of stepping up while he was out, but definitely it'll be good to get him back hopefully this week. Trevor, you're pretty familiar with London now. Do you have your usual spots or do you still discover new things every time you see? Try to do new stuff. I mean, London is, I mean, as far as the city goes, when we do have some time to go there and um, explore a little bit, I mean, it's there's so much to do, so many great restaurants. And so try to change it up a little bit. Um, haven't got a chance to do anything yet. We just got in, but maybe next week we'll get a little bit of time. But yeah, I, I like to change it up and try to see everything. Obviously, I've seen a lot of the staples, but um, as far as like food goes, I love just trying new restaurants here because there's some great food. Trevor, I know you're not a fan of the limelight. You've said it yourself, but 
Having a stadium named after you for your home opener, despite the result in Trevor Bank Stadium, has to be pretty cool, right? Yeah, you know, I, I think it was obviously a good uh, spin off on, and play on words for the for the game. Definitely disappointed in the result. You know, it was unfortunate we weren't able to win that game, but um, you know, it, it's cool to be able to do things like that in Jacksonville, a city that means a lot to us. That you know, obviously the team I got drafted to and. Um, it's, it's changed over the past couple of years and it's exciting and I love the trajectory where we're headed. Um, but, you know, the biggest thing is the way to get there is to keep winning games and we need to do a little bit more of that. So I'm excited for that challenge and um, we just got to perform on the field and I think everything takes care of itself. I asked the same question to coach, I'll put it to you as well. It seems like you guys in London just have some kind of chemistry of cracking the code and winning them games. What do you think that's down to because you seem to you know, turn up when it matters, especially when you're over here? Um, yeah, I think it's just, it's different every year. You got to prove it every year. And, um, I know Chicago is a good team coming in here and, um, I'm sure they have a great plan and they're ready to roll for Sunday too. So, you know, you have to really attack it every year the same way and not take anything for granted. But I just think being over here, having our schedule down, understanding kind of the travel deal and how you're going to feel when you land a little sluggish. And I think we've just ironed out some of the possible issues just from being over here so much. So maybe that's part of it. I think we've just embraced it too at this point. It's like we kind of enjoy the change of scenery and just being able to have an opportunity. This is a pretty unique opportunity to get to play football games over here. I mean, not that many people get to do it. So um, it's pretty cool and we've embraced it and we enjoy it. And this place is beautiful. Love staying here uh, at the Grove. So there's a lot of pluses to it. And But at the end of the day, you know, we're here to, to win some games. So we keep that in the, at the forefront and the most important thing. We've got time for like three more guys. Trevor, with you guys getting here uh, late, and then Chicago has been here since Tuesday, how do you avoid uh, kind of a sluggish uh, start uh, to, to the game on Sunday? Just go out there and play. Um, you know, none of that matters once you step foot on the field on Sunday. You just got to go play. And uh, that was the travel arrangements that we chose. That's kind of how we've always done it. And um, we have trust and faith in our process and how we do it. And obviously, every team does it a little bit different. So. Um, but there's no excuses come Sunday, so we got to put a good product out there and, and, and go out there and play well. You're obviously facing another first overall pick. Uh, can you put some words on the pressure of being a, a number one pick and how you see Caleb uh, coping with that? He looks great. You know, obviously, there's never it's never going to be perfect. There's always going to be some ups and downs. Um, you know, I thought he's done a nice job. He's carried himself well. Seems like he's leading the team really well, um, and they're in a good spot. They have a really good team, offense, defense, all the way around. Um, so. I think he's doing a good job. It's just about learning every week. You know, you're going to learn something new. Um, that's what this game's about in general, not just as a rookie, but just learning every week, taking it in stride, not losing your confidence, um, which seems like he has a lot of. So I think he's done a nice job. Um, but yeah, no, it's a it's a long year, and obviously I've I've kept track of his his career and um, rooting for him not on Sunday necessarily, but uh, past that, you know, as an NFC guy and uh, root for him to have success besides on Sunday. If you could choose the next international NFL game location, which country would you choose and why? That's a good question. Like anywhere or of the ones that have been done already? Oh, man. Uh, that's a great question. Um, I mean, it'd be cool to go to Italy. That'd be a fun one. I th has that been done already? No? Not been done? It'd be a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still feel or already feel like an old hand, or is everything a little bit new for you? Um, you said being my fourth year, and just yeah. Um, I mean, every, sorry, coming over here or just in general? In general. In general, yeah. You know, I've gotten obviously my routine. I've gotten kind of things dialed in over the few years um, I've had, but every season's a new new journey, uh, new experiences. You have a new team. There's a lot of different things that change. Um, so I think it's. It's kind of both, to be honest. I feel more comfortable, and I, and it's nice. This is my third year in this offense, which is which feels good, and and that's a that's an area that is good to have some carryover. And you know the offense, you know the system. It feels like you can play faster as a quarterback. So, but then again, you change players every year, and um, a lot of things change. So, it's all just you know like the ebbs and flows of the season and settling in, and um, for our team where we're at now and. This is kind of the time to do that, and we feel like we got a good start last week, and we just want to keep that going. But yeah, it's I feel pretty comfortable going in my fourth year. All right, the last one for real. Sec. <laughs> <laughs> I know coach has been complimentary of the offensive line's performance the last two years, and the group coming together or two weeks and coming together. What have you seen from from your perspective how they've been doing? 
They've done a great job. I mean, last week it didn't even get hit besides on a couple QB sneaks. So, um, you know, not being touched and you throw the ball that, that much in a game is pretty rare. So I'm proud of that group up front. They've worked really hard. And that's just a, it's a thankless position, you know. It's Those guys don't get much love. So it's been cool to see, to get the questions about them and to be able to talk about them and for everybody to, to love them up a little bit. Because, I mean, the stuff that they do, um, not a lot of people would want to do that. You know, the dirty work and physical, you're on the ground almost every play. Um, and you don't really get any attention unless you do something wrong. So, you know, for those guys, I'm, I'm appreciative of them. And I know the sacrifices they make. And um, they've done a heck of a job preparing every week. And... Um, yeah, the last two weeks they've done a great job, but I think the whole season they've really protected well and done some things, some some really good things. So we just got to keep building off of it. We got to do it every week, and um, those guys know the challenge in front of them, and excited to do it again. Thanks, All right, thank you all. Appreciate it.